are you upset about what's happening in your country? I'm in the United States, so basically I talk about being here. Don't get upset. Don't get mad. Don't go out in the street and steal and loot and, and break things and yell. Do something good with, with your, your anger, your aggravation. Um, do things you always wanted to do and didn't have time for. You know, have you always wanted to, to build something in the backyard? Have you always wanted to, uh, to paint, to, to finish a book that, that, you, that you admire? And how about you people that have a big house and you have relatives that can't pay their rent because they lost their job? How about being historical, traditional, old-fashioned and bring these people into your house? You don't get along with all of them? Then just pick the ones you get along with. Wouldn't it be nice to have someone at the house when you're not there? then maybe you won't have break-ins anymore, especially if you live in a big city. Um, when I used to live in South Florida, the, the time my house was broken into, no one was there. The dog was there, but he couldn't do anything. He was in the, the backyard. So, you know, when, when I had a farm and I had almost five acres, you know, I offered various relatives and in-laws uh, come live on the farm. You know, there's plenty of room here. You could build your own little house. And uh, there's some zoning requirements. So as long as it's connected to my cabin some way, you know, with uh, a hallway or something, then it'll be okay. Nobody was interested. So what's going on now? I don't live on the farm anymore, but I'm still in that very peaceful rural city. And not actually a city, in the county. And uh, we have a very low incidence of crime here, a low incidence of pollution, and uh, very few cases of COVID-19. And what about my relatives and in-laws? They're, they're in big cities that uh, not only have problems with viruses, not just COVID-19, they also have West Nile flu virus. They also have Zika virus with mosquitoes. They have trucks and planes going through the area with all this toxic spray to kill the mosquitoes. What is this spray doing to my relatives? They're, they're not allowed out of the house. Um, so many places are closed down. Um, there's flooding. I mean, just like everything. So. Think about it. If you have room, pick out your best relatives, invite them to stay, make a bunch of rules, uh, have fun with it. Look up some old movies where, you know, there's a whole bunch of people living together and, and how they did it and how they had a sense of humor. So think about these things. Uh, let, let's use all this for good. Uh, remember the old saying, success is the best revenge? You're angry at the government? You're angry at, at a lot of things? Well, start working on things you always wanted to do. Get your, get your house in shape, get your health in shape, increase your knowledge base, study, um, do things. I had a handyman once and he told me that he was sentenced to nine months in prison because somebody falsely accused him of physical abuse. I don't know if he was guilty or not. But he said, well, there's no way I can get out of this. I'm going to be nine months in prison. I'm going to do something I always wanted to do. So he said he had always wanted to read the entire Bible all the way through. So, and he always wanted to uh, do strength training, muscle building, bodybuilding. So he did those two things for those nine months in jail and prison. He did weightlifting and he read the whole Bible, Genesis to the end. So what happened? He eventually got out of prison after the nine months. He has the biggest muscles I've ever seen in my life. I mean, everybody admires them. And he read the Bible. Okay? So... Do things you always wanted to do and didn't have time. 
if you don't have any relative with a big house and, and you have to get out of your apartment because you can't pay the rent and you haven't gotten any, any help from the government yet, well, um, how about going into one of these places that they're like trailer parks and you could rent the space? Um, there's a lot of things you could do. How about uh, if you don't have any uh, kind relatives, um, get together with some friends or people you know and, and, and rent an apartment. I mean, do something. I know people. I know people that live in their car in a department store parking lot. I mean, you, you can survive. And um, there's jobs that nobody wants. You can get one of those jobs. You can pray. Pray. Pray for help. There's always something you could do. What's the government going to do, you know, if you don't have anywhere to go and you can't, can't pay your rent? They're going to have to help eventually. So try to use whatever's happening for good. Think about it. Don't get angry. Anger ruins everything. We can't even think straight when we're anger, angered. But you know what? I understand people would rather be angry than depressed because anger gives you a feeling of power, of strength, and it feels a lot better than depression. I understand that. But be depressed and think. That's better. You'll come up with a solution. Keep trying. Maybe you'll be the one that has an answer for everyone. I don't have, I don't have an answer except keep trying.